Okay guys, I hope you can hear me because I got the fan on right now. I'm trying to help myself out. Um, adjusting the chain, that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, this video was shot after I cleaned and lubed it. You're supposed to adjust it first, but I'm doing this in reverse order because it was just kind of hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take off this axle nut here. It's going to be a 32 millimeter. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to loosen it up. Don't take it all the way off. We're just going to loosen it. You might need a breaker bar for this. So I don't have one. I'm going to try and do it by hand. Also, make sure you remember where your axle is right now at this point. Alright guys, I was able to do it without a breaker bar. What I did is I held the bike and I basically put my weight on it, cracked it, and now it's there. So we're going to loosen it up. Don't loosen it, don't take off the bolt, just loosen it. Then what you're gonna do guys, you're gonna get uh, a 12 millimeter and 10 millimeter wrench. So you can undo the lock nut right here and the adjuster bolt. Okay guys, here is the lock nut right here which is gonna be the 12 millimeter. And this is the 10 millimeter adjuster. Okay, make sure you look on your notches here. This is how you're gonna tell how much to move. I'm gonna go half a step because I'm between two marks. Half a step should put us in spec. Okay, just loosen it up a little bit. All right, and then you wanna do the same thing on the other side. All right guys, so at this point, I got the lock nut and adjuster, uh, well the lock nut and adjuster loose on both sides. So basically, you're gonna to wanna to start turning this guys so that this comes back a little bit. I'm going for the mark, but whatever you're on, go half a step. If you're between marks, go to the mark. If you're on a mark, go halfway between two marks. So you're going to turn this one right here. I pulled it down six times. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Get a flashlight, guys, so you can see the hash marks really good. That's what's going to make sure that your wheel is balanced right with the line in the front. It's like right there on the mark. So I'm going to do the same to the other side. Measure your slack. Once you're in spec, you're going to go ahead and put this wrench here again to force, uh, force the chain to tighten up.
Okay, now once you got it there, we're gonna go ahead and snug this up with our torque wrench. It's 72.5 foot pounds, so I got it set. Okay, take the wrench out. Okay guys, then go ahead and we're going to, now that you got that, we're gonna go ahead and tighten up the, uh, hold this and tighten up the uh, lock nut. Careful not to move the adjuster nut, guys. Just the lock nut. Okay, guys, once you have uh, tightened both lock nuts on both sides, go ahead and rotate your wheel and make sure there's no binding and it moves smoothly. Here. Now, you guys might want to check your slack again, and if it's off, same procedure guys, loosen the bolt, loosen the lock nut, use the adjusters to get where you need to be, same old fucking procedure, okay? That's why I recommend going in half steps. So we should be good now guys, and that is how you adjust your chain.